Spacey Sims, and we are back with the first part of Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time. I am so excited. Um, so, uh, if you remember from Episode 1, I had actually played the game, like, totally through one day, and then went back and did the Let's Play. So I had seen kind of some stuff. Um, I also knew that I had missed a bunch of stuff, so that was all new. But this is going to be completely new. I have not looked at all or seen anything of out of time and I have made sure that I did not even look at any let's plays or anything out there because I want this to be completely new I have done everything in my power to avoid reading anything about this at all because I want it to be completely new um the only thing I did look up is the episode three when it's coming out because it's coming soon and it is actually coming out May 5th so I am very excited it's actually um May 1st right now when I am recording uh, this and I'm probably I don't know if I'm going to record this all in one shot or what um, but yeah so I'm going to try to upload at least one of these ep one of these um, parts a day maybe more because I kind of really do want to get episode three to start um, adding it up there as soon as I start recording it I don't know if I'll get to play it uh, on Tuesday the 5th when it comes out but I might try. I might try to at least do one part just because I'm really excited and I don't want everyone to have to wait. But worst case, it will be, you know, next weekend. So that's really cool. So I'm excited. So we'll have episodes one, two, and three kind of in order. And then we'll have to wait because I think they come out every six weeks. So it will be a little bit of time. I don't think episode four comes out until uh, June, I think. Uh, closer toward the end of June. I think they may have said the 16th or something. So that's going to be a long wait. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of jump right in. Uh, and hopefully we'll see how episode two starts. Um, okay. This is... All right. Um, okay. Okay. So excited. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Okay, we get a recap. Whoa, what the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> oh. Reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Ooh. Okay, so that's the same warning we have the uh, first time. It's a player choice game. Consequences of our actions. Oh no! How come I can't move my mouse? There we go. <laughs> what if I wanted to actually like wake up? <laughs> kind of like how that started.
No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. We're still going to investigate every Max little thing. Field photo memorial wall. Sorry. We missed so much the first time running through this. Oh, let's go to our journal and see... Uh... Okay, wow. Wow, okay. Could you stop so I could go back and like keep up and read this? Dear Lord. Okay, so... Ah, uh, you there, hippie. What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought saving your life was more important. Boom, Max delivers the final blow. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass-buster breakfast at Two Whales, my treat. Sold, it's good to have minions. Gotta bail, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. Why is this flashing? I guess it's because it's new? I don't know. No emoji! S frowny face. <laughs> Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know time is not on your side. After all, you did let step dork bust me on my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Um. Well, you know what? Okay, so that was that's our Even only other all message. This crazy shit going on. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. What's this? Like no time has passed. Oh, okay. Oh, so look, look, we can use our. I, actually, that's fine because okay, so these are oh cool. These are the other places that we haven't gone. Um, so that's the lighthouse. That's that. I'm assuming this will be Two Wells Diner because it's right there. We haven't been there, so that's the main campus. That was the parking lot. This is the dorms. So I guess we'll explore the rest of this. Um, we'll read the journal in a second. Okay, we haven't met any new people because we read through all of these guys last time, I believe. And these are all the picture opportunities. Uh, okay, so we have to, uh, see if we have those. Okay, so, um, is this where we left off? Uh, okay. So did we actually read this, uh, one of the hide in the closet? I thought... Okay, no, no. So this was the last page that we read. Grab a shower. Okay, so grab my shower supplies and go to the showers. Okay, so we can do that, but we're going to read this next page. Okay, so Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense, but I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. I had another nightmare, or duskmare, okay, I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff, yeah, and we almost got hit by a rock and trees, that was a little scary, um, I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain, the lighthouse was crumbling, and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town, three meters above the sky, hmm, that's interesting, okay, then Chloe snapped me out of the dream, and I told her what I saw, as I... Oh, and as if to make the day end, on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once, especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. Okay, so that's where we left that. So now we have to, uh... Okay, so let's, um... Let's see if I can... Look. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. We'll have her make her bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Let's look in the mirror. Use the mirror. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Quantum physics as in, like, we don't want to leave her room yet. What's this? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Are we going to have to do that instead of, like, tabbing the journal? What's this? Nothing? Let's look at that. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Hmm. I wonder if that's, like, uh, you know, important. Look, this is her bathroom stuff. Just because stuff. some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Seriously, but I wouldn't want my toiletries okay, stuck Max, in a bathroom in high school. Let's hit the sorry. showers now. Let's not hit the showers, Max. We're busy exploring your room. Uh -oh. 
I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. <laughs> That's freaking adorable. I love it. Love it. Okay, so you have that. Let's look at your clothes. We're gonna Good go. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Okay, so we've already looked at that. And we've already looked at her guitar and the stuff. And we, no, we're not going to play it, though. So uh, I just want to see if there's anything. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. This is all new now stuff. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Well, like Sharknado? It's not. I'm sorry, Max. I hate to tell you this. There's no such thing as a Sharknado, honey. It's okay. Don't worry. Plan. Look. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. Because we watered her. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Water. Or Drink is this... up. It's got electrolytes. Is this going to be like one of those consequences? This has consequences. How? How does watering our plant have consequences? It's freaking me out. Uh, look. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Let's take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Serious selfie. Good job, Max. Uh, what else we got over here that we can poke? Your laptop? Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and Ooh. the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Yeah, homework's never as much fun as real play stuff. Warren is blowing stuff. up my inbox now. Oh! As is... long as he helps me figure this out. Hey, Max, the doctor is in the house. Oh, God, Warren, just stop. You're such a noob. A noob. I'm in a nub. I was thinking nerd. And Okay, you know what? Words are not my friend today. Uh, I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links. And without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send you more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full excla explanation for your newfound chrono interest. Is he pretending to be Doctor Who? Because he's not. The time machine. Okay. And then, okay, so these are all the list of movies. Um, okay, so the Time Machine, the 1960 version, fun early steampunk sci-fi, and Morlock's face is melt. Uh, uh, primary lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Okay. Um, H.G. Wells uses Time Machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern-day San Francisco. I'm just wondering if there's anything important in any of these Pulp Fiction serious the switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity plus Uma. <laughs> I was like, Pulp Fiction? Okay. Somewhere in time, big culture on this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. The big kick... Bi oh, the best kind of chick flick you'll cry like a baby I did. <laughs> Warren. Oh, Warren. Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Sorry, cheap... Oh, Sonny Chiba and his shoulders end up back in Samurai Days. Basically, tanks versus ninjas. That sounds pretty cool. Time Cop, Jean-Claude Van Damme, does the splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need I say more? Okay. <laughs> That's all the time I have now is I do have actual quantum physics to plow through and not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Don't hit on leaving. Doctor Who? Question mark. Doctor Who? This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. Uh, let's, let's see if we can bring this up. Okay, that is so much better. Time travel is not just a science fiction. Join the chrononauts. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all the rules of time-space continuum. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Sounds a little x filies uh, nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build, in top secret, their own versions of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinite, or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clear based on the vast scientific information that time travel is only applicable on a person-by-person -person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or thermodynamic calibration. My god, there's a lot of words in here. Uh, for this reason, we've created a forum where past, present, and future time travelers... <laughs> Can I just think it's funny? Like they're, I'm in the future, but I'm in the past, but we're all in the same place. Uh, just... It, it was funny in my head, but uh, can share tips, ideas, and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time. Hence our moniker, the Chrononauts. Brave, oh, s 
a brave solitary adventurers on an infinite voyage. Adventurers, sorry, on an infinite voyage. I'm <laughs> I'm just wondering about the people who actually frequent that website. Uh, register within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. Uh, except for a crazy town. This wormhole thing makes total sense. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole. I can do what no scientist ever has. Okay, so this is about wormholes and how they work. Okay. I would um, say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? For example, stream researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles. Huh, okay. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Wow, okay. So she's having a party. Uh, to decorate the halls and gym and the taste. Oh, this is cool. So this could be next Wednesday, October 10th, to give you plenty of... So I'm assuming if Friday was supposed to be the tornado and we have five episodes, so episode two, which we're in right now, is probably take. It's probably Tuesday. Um, so um, we probably won't get to do that until, like, the, maybe this is something that is going to happen... Uh, in the next uh, episode, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Sticky notes. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Look at all of this. Take a giant step backwards for mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Giant, giant frog. Oh my god. Burn your clock. Wow. Okay, so she's got a lot of post-it notes. This girl's, like, lost her damn mind. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? So, okay, so we know that she's all of a sudden in a matter of That's a day. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of. That was a good hockey game okay. and a great fight. That's just all the same pictures that we had the last time. So nothing new there. We don't need to play her radio. And I guess there's probably nothing in her drawer that's new. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Mystic enchantment cards. Is that like Magic the Gathering? Maybe they couldn't use magic. Ooh. Um, okay, so I guess we are going to go to the showers now. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Why do we want to... No, we're not going to knock on our door. That's just weird. Maybe we should, but, uh... I think I'll be way too scared to go. Cool days. Ooh! Black Halloween... Yeah, no, you're probably... Really? Tornado's gonna kill the town and you're scared to do that? Oh. Let's erase that. Yeah, that's not nice. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Yeah, I think that's kind of sad because I feel like, yeah, obviously Kate's depressed. <laughs> oh my god so I think that's sad that it's like right by her room so if can we write I sure would like to catch this hall tagger it's probably Victoria because she's a stupid douche um they live maybe we should knock on Kate's door and just see how she, and see if she's okay just Kate be like is an early bird she might be up and gone Okay, I guess she's not there. I kind of just thought, whoop, 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 going the wrong way. Toilet paper. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But what's Alyssa doing? Let's talk to her. She's just you standing okay, here. okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Okay, I don't understand what that's about, but uh, let's... If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. 
Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, like, we can't really... Oh, I guess maybe we should enter, but... Okay, so this is just... That's the showers. I guess that's just... I just don't want to miss anything. You know? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Okay, so nothing new there. Juliet's room. But she's right here. So why should we knock? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Wait, what? Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't be so judgy. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Yeah, you probably Best shouldn't have it anyway. Thanks, Juliet. Be sure. It. Talk to you later. What about Brooke? What's her deal? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. Get a life and move Warren on, bitch. Can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Sounds like, um... We don't want to go to Taylor's room. Uh, it sounds like Brooke, uh... Might have a thing for Warren. Okay, my backpack with all my school books and my... Tablet was taken... Oh, this is the one with the... Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if oh. I will, though. Yeah. I'm a loser. So we're still on that. Okay. Uh, we're not going to leave yet. We don't need to worry about... What's this map? Map Black of campus. Black isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. And that's a map to the floors. I don't know who Stella is. Stella's got some issues, though. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Wow. That's not cool. So what's in here? We just walked in. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. She's like, why the fuck did you just walk in my room? Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. <coughs> Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. It's Halloween, goddammit. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yes, we're gonna make you. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. Woohoo! It does sound like fun. Woo! Woo! Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Um. Hmm. No, I want to look at her makeup. But, okay, there we go. <laughs> it was like tweaking. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. That's nothing. That's nothing. Should we, like, snoop around her shit? Curiosity killed the Max. She's not... Well, you know what? Normally they don't notice when we use their shit. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. Not single. Happy, happy, joy, joy. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. 
feel like it's... I could pull this look off. Woo! <laughs> Hello, Victoria. I love that look. No, no, Victoria's not cool enough for that look, honey. Don't even. What's this? Is this anything? Can we look at this? What's that? No. Let's see what else is over here. A cheerleader outfit. We already know that. We're going to know the poster. What's that? Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. No, we need real roller skates. What's this? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Cool. Okay, so I think that's everything that's, uh... This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, that's the thing that he was... that we read the last time. Uh, that, uh... Trevor wrote to her. I guess it was Trevor. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll just go take a shower now like we were supposed to an hour ago. Half an hour later, we're like finally doing what they wanted us to do. There's Kate. Look how disgusting this place is. Does anyone clean? This place is rank. Like, ew. Or please tell me you're not barefoot. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We need to disinfect your feet. I guess Kate's the only person here, so let's talk to her. Hey, Kate. Poor Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Poor Kate. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay. So now I guess we're supposed to go take a shower. Ugh, I don't want to use the shower. I'm going to go take a shower after this myself just because I feel dirty watching this. We don't have to, like, shampoo her hair and everything. She's capable of doing that for herself. Oh. Oh, no. What's up, Kate? Oh, no. School. Not this twat. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She, she has pain on her face from yesterday? Doesn't she know what a mirror is? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. It took her like an hour I to say that. that. I'm so quirky, crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we erasing that shit. Sorry. We should probably stuff Victoria's head in a toilet, flush it a couple times. What a C-word. Uh, so is it time for us to... Uh, I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. No. Um, we're going to read our journal. I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows it. Yet, okay, after yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life, among other cray-cray... As Victoria might say, say, <laughs> events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me 
off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about the freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Oh, look, she sketched her room and snowflakes. Um, not being... Not being Warren, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria can make me feel dirty in a shower. Really? Really? Have you seen this place? It's nasty. Uh, that's for the swim team. Otter power? I'm so not there. Uh, damn. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Uh, oh, that's the one about... Okay, faucet. Let's use that. I don't know why. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Uh... I guess somebody else is... <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Uh, okay, we can't take that toothpaste stuff. Okay, let's, uh... Message. I'm trying to get to... Me message? Look, erase... Well, let's look at it first. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Erase that shit. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. And that's, that little butterfly means that's going to have consequences, and we can go back and rewind, but I'm not going to do that. What is, that's so douchey too. Okay, do we have like, there's nothing else in here we can do, right? Weren't we just in that shower and now somebody else is in there? It's freaking weird. All right, so, okay, I guess that's it. So let's leave and go back to our room. I guess that's what we're supposed to do. We're kind of, ah. Uh, uh, let's go. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. It doesn't tell us what we're supposed to do, so. Um, okie dokie. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll just go back to our room unless there's anything new going around out here. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing on Kate's board. Can we write on, like, uh, Victoria's and call her a nasty twat? Nothing else. Okay. Nothing new. Missing posters. Missing persons posters. Okay, let's go into our room. Do, 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 do. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Okay, really? What did we... Oh, that must have been Nathan, because there is no freaking way that Victoria did that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. We should have gone to the principal. What's that? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Wow, Nathan's got issues. Put that away. And what do we do with the message? Can we... Okay, we can't clean it up or anything. What's this? Man, this could almost be oh. art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Okay. When I told her to put it away, I was, uh... What are we looking for? We're looking for Kate's book. Those are papers. Search papers. Why are we searching papers? No book here. Papers. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. 
Okie dokie, so we gotta rewind that. Do, do, do. Hold right mouse button to rewind. I am rewinding. Okay. Let's move that. Be gone, foul soft drink. And now let's take this. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay, so now we have her book, but let's see where else we can, uh... Anything else that's new we can poke around at? I mean, there's the plant, but we don't need to do anything. We can look at our camera and our sticky notes. Photos. Our phone. Okay, I guess we just... I guess there's nothing I else. I need to get dressed before I go there. Okie dokie! Get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Whoa! Yeah, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. She's wearing a different deer shirt, so... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. No, you don't! Rewind time! I do time. have all the time in the world now. Okie dokie. So Kate's is this room, right? Kate's room. Knock. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Mac. Let's look at this. Kate is all alone dealing with this video Your bullshit. father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you some party video. Her. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or a family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother... Well, that's kind of douchey. God, Mom. Be such a bitch. Like, poor Kate. Like, probably wasn't even her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. It's probably because Nathan's a douche nozzle and gave her, like, some kind of crazy drugs. Tripped her out. Uh, okay. Let's, okay, I guess we'll look at this first. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. Oh. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. To do the righteous. Mm. So, like... And she crossed it out. Probably because there's no justice in this story. Just those terrible people doing being terrible and mean to her. It's Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. No, I think she was drugged and, uh... Close. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. I mean, this this place is, like, really kind of nasty for a high school. I mean, Jesus. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. They kind of... I don't know, Kate looks a little different with her big hair. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. She put a cloth over the mirror. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? She's seriously depressed. Poor Kate. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Not anymore, poor Kate. She's miserable. Gigantic hen. In a tiny dino. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's hilarious. Let's poke at her trash. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Hey, some pe some of us just have allergies, okay? Huh. Kate really has a doting father. Wait. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Aww. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh wait, wasn't there a thing in the journal, in her journal, a place for a book? We could take a picture of a bunny rabbit! That is the cutest bunny ever! <gasps> I bet Kate is a good mom. It really is a cute little bunny! Oh my god! It's a cute little bunny! Oh my god, we're going super long, okay. After we give her back her book, we'll probably have to end this part. Super, super duper long. One photo in our journal! Yeah. Ouch. She left out amnation. Ah, uh, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. 
And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Damn! Super religious people are super kind of crazy. I mean, I don't... That's, Good lord. Wow. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. That's probably how she feels on the inside. Poor Kate. She's all like super duper like religious and good and everybody's being all on this video and oh, I don't know. I almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. I feel like maybe he drugged her. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna- I don't Why wanna. does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, you were drugged. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? Did Nathan drug you? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. Yes, they I remember did. getting sick and dizzy. Mm. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Yeah. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody so are was we. talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Then I was drugged. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. You were drugged. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. As usual. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate? Sue. We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Book. <laughs> so, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. I'm sure he hurt you. Should I go to the police? Yes. Go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. You should have gone to the police when you, you next Max. day. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup uh, witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nathan Nothing. Prescott? Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. 
I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Maybe we should have told her to look for proof. Time out, Max. You actually told hmm. Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Let's go rewind and tell her to find proof first. I think that might be a better idea. I do think she should go to the police, but I think we need to, uh... Oh, so we have to put her book back. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go tell her to look for proof. Let's see what happens. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. Ooh, hi, Bernie. You're gonna so visit? Hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh. Shit. Oh. It's like either way, this isn't good. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Um, I think I'm going to leave it like that because we already have Nathan Prescott going crazy on us. I don't want Kate to be sad, but we need proof of what happened to her. I don't know, guys. <laughs> we leave the room. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. Shit. I don't know. She's going to get... Hold on, let's look in our journal and just see if there's anything new. Um, the plot thickens and I can't get out, so after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. Um, and we found our picture of the bunny rabbit. And, ooh, private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything. Or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay, like, we don't know that's from you, Nathan, you fucktard. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Oh, my God. All right. But it could be anybody. That was actually... I be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious <sighs> danger. I think we're not already. just going to, uh... I think we're going to leave. I think we're going to leave Kate with that. We left her book. And... Okay, do we have a natural save point? Okay, so... Because I want to save this. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. <laughs> Don't hurt your fingers texting gay breakfast. No emoji. We'll use emojis if we want to use emojis. Um, so I guess we have to go to the Two Whales Diner, so we have to go out. Um, so okay, so hopefully this is a natural saving point, because we've been going for way, 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 way too long. Okay, cool. So, I am going to... Um, actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to hit escape. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here, and we will come back. We spent way too long on this part, guys, um, but there wasn't a good place to stop it kind of in the middle so i'm sorry it was so super long but thank you for bearing with me i will see you next time and we will find out what happens at the diner all right guys i will see you next time remember give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more